Good evening, Erev Tov and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be painting my jacket. In my previous video, I sewed a design into the jacket and I talked about the possibility of sewing in some words. I decided to paint them instead. And so this video is going to be showing me painting the jacket. I hope that you enjoy. If you do, please like and subscribe and let me know what you think. Thank you. So I decided to paint Hebrew words onto this jacket. I used a fabric paint. I had originally thought of trying to sew in the words by hand, but it would have taken a long time to sew by hand and it wouldn't have looked as nice as if it had been like embroidery done with a machine. So I decided to go with paint and I thought it would fit with the aesthetic of the jacket. So the jacket is supposed to have kind of a rough look to it. So I put some of the paint in a little cup and I took a little brush and I started painting the words. I had um, found some Hebrew letters online and printed them out and then I cut them out and I put them up against the jacket and then I traced them with pencil so you can see the pencil marks that I used as my guideline for painting these letters. I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it neatly freehand so I'm glad that I had put it in pencil first. And I think I've only painted on clothing once before. The other time was a long time ago and I think I used stencil. So this is the first time in a long time that I've painted on clothing. It wasn't particularly challenging, but um, I guess it wasn't very easy either. I feel like I had to use a lot of paint to cover it fully. And I did actually end up um, coming back after it dried and added a second coat. I've been learning Hebrew slowly online for a while. Um, I'm using a free app on my phone and computer. Uh, the app I was using I really enjoyed at first and was very into and was learning a lot. But then the platform changed and I didn't really like the change at first and I didn't really feel motivated to keep learning so I took a little bit of a break. But I've been back on it and I've been continuing to slowly learn Hebrew. Um, I didn't go to a Hebrew school as a kid and I didn't learn any Hebrew as a kid so this is all new to me. I really like the Hebrew language for different reasons. I think um, it's very unique compared to the languages that are traditionally used in this country. Uh, besides English, a lot of schools um, either teach Spanish or French or some sort of Latin-based romantic language. And uh, Semitic languages are a bit different than that. I like that they read from right to left, just as a, a change from other languages. I like that the letters are completely different characters that aren't found in the Romantic Latin-based languages. It was a bit challenging to learn at first. I had to learn all these symbols, but once I got the hang of it, um, it's not too challenging anymore to read. And every time I see a Hebrew word on a, a building or on something and I'm able to read it and know what it says, it's just a really, really great feeling. Um, I just feel really excited that I'm learning this and um, kind of proud of myself for taking the initiative and for sticking with it, even though I'm going at a little bit of a slow pace. 
I also like learning Hebrew because it's sort of an ancient language. Um, I'm sure modern Hebrew is quite a bit different than old Hebrew, but it's still an ancient language nonetheless. And so in learning it, I feel like I'm continuing something from history that could die out. Um, so that's just another reason why I like the language. And I think some of the words sound really nice as I learn what words mean. I think some of them are really fitting for what they describe. For example, the words for big and small, I think are very fitting. The word for big is gadol, and the word for small is katan. And I feel like those really fit. A big thing, gadol. A small thing, katan. It's little. I just think the sounds that those words make fit what they're describing. Another word I really like is the word for spider, which is ekavish. And I feel like that word sounds like something crawling across really quickly. I, I picture a bunch of legs, ekavish. And that's just an example of some of the Hebrew words that I think are very fitting. I like how some of the words sound. The word for candy, mamtakim, is a fun word. The word for we, anaknu, is a fun word. I just find that um, learning a language is very rewarding. It's challenging, but it's rewarding. Throughout school, um, I learned a bit of Spanish. I started learning Spanish in middle school, and then I took three Spanish classes in high school, and then one in college. And so the app I'm using to learn Hebrew, I'm also using to brush up on my Spanish. I unfortunately don't think I will ever be fluent, and I do feel like I should know more than I do because I learned Spanish for so long, but um, I do find that the lessons I take in Spanish feel more like a review than like I'm learning new information. So I, I think I did uh, retain some of that information pretty well. But learning Hebrew has made me appreciate Semitic languages, and I like the idea of trying to learn other Semitic languages too. I think learning Arabic would be nice, so I have just recently started learning the basics of that, but I'm not in a rush, and I, I do think it will take time, just as learning Hebrew took time, because Again, it's all new characters that I don't recognize and have to learn and memorize. But again, it's fun and it's rewarding. And if you're fluent in any languages or you're learning languages, let me know which ones you're learning. If you speak Hebrew or are learning Hebrew, let me know what you think. If you like the language, if you have a favorite word, um, if you found it difficult or fun to learn, I'd love to know. And so I mentioned this in my last video, but what I decided to paint in Hebrew on this jacket is Arnav Levan, and that means white rabbit. And I chose that because um, the design that I added to the jacket in my last video is a white rabbit. The white rabbit in particular doesn't have a special meaning for me. Um, I drew a series of drawings that showed um, animals where in parts of their bodies you could see their bones. I just thought it was kind of cool to be able to 
see some of the anatomy you don't normally see. And so one of the animals I chose for that project was this rabbit. And I thought it came out the best out of all of them. And I thought it would look really nice on clothing. And that's why I added the rabbit to the jacket. And that's why I decided to write white rabbit on the jacket in Hebrew. And Hebrew isn't the most common language, um, so I kind of like the idea that I have this language on my jacket that not everyone can read. When people see it, they might be curious about it. They might wonder what language it is or just wonder what it says. And even though it doesn't say anything particularly special, um, I guess I just like the idea that I'm kind of carrying a secret with me. And so my camera stopped recording at the end, so I jumped ahead a little, and this is me adding a second layer to the paint. And so this is what it looks like now. I'm pretty happy with it. I think this was a fun project and I'm happy that I was able to share it with you. Thank you again. Lila Tove, good night.